YouTube, welcome back to the channel. It's your host, TKK. And today, look, man, I just came home from work. I got a few minutes to myself and I decided to not make a video that was going to be so technical going into the logistics of the workings of different things. I just was thinking about this whole console versus PC thing. You know, I from time to time dabble into looking at various websites like Facebook, Twitter, and you've always seen some kind of craziness where a person is trying to compare the two. And so I wanted to offer my perspective and, uh, you know, if you haven't seen, I got the 3090 pretty soon, the Founders Edition 3090. It's not my first, but I am going to be actually doing another build for myself around this, and I'm pretty excited about that. If you haven't seen the video of me unboxing that, check it out. But with me thinking about parts with this thing tonight, thinking about what process or what motherboard and so forth that I want to get, I think it's going to be an interest, interesting topic the way that I'm going to kind of center the build it's not going to be just a build video what you're seeing the build but i'm going to tell you the inner workings of like my own mentality as to when i'm picking parts and what i'm picking the parts for right and it kind of opens the it opened the gateway for this video this discussional video right which is consoles versus pc in 2022 and so the reality of it is that you know i want to be that person that's just going to keep it 100 percent real with you right you know, I love PC gaming. I know that I have quite a few subscribers that are, you know, I won't say biased, but they prefer the master race because let me tell you, when you come to this side, it is glorious. It really is. I mean, the memes are true. It is truly glorious. The fact that you have the ability to upscale and natively render so many games at a beautiful resolution a high resolution is just spectacular right you end up feeling like there's no compromises if you can afford it if you can afford it you will definitely have a great experience two side of coin there though because there has been some experiences that have not been so great if you were still able to afford parts like the rtx 3090 be it retail or resale costs Parts like the comparable motherboards and processors and power supplies that you would want to go with this thing if you can afford it. There has still been issues, still hiccups. I can remember when Batman Arkham Knight came out. That game did so bad from a production perspective that Rocksteady, I think that's the name of the company, they ended up offering the entire free catalog of the Batman games if you didn't return it. That's how many returns they had for that particular game on PC. Now, Although on console, it didn't run at 60 frames. It wasn't natively 4K. It didn't have all those bells and whistles, but it was the definitive version. And it had came out first, right? So how is it that a PC game, which I bought it day one on PC, how is it that a PC game, and this is only one, it's been many, doesn't run so well? It comes down to the development team, right? So it's not the case of, if you can afford to buy the best hardware because the best hardware is not always going to net you the best um, experience it's been proven like the game that i just said to you there's been several games like that where playing on the console was good enough and that's going to be another discussional video i'm going to have um, at a later time i'm going to try to put that out I, I get these ideas i jot them down and then i try to execute with them is the console good enough i think it is right for many people but to the flip side of the coin from coming from PC, when you get to a console, your expectations based on how good they market the console ends up creating this frustration and this letdown for you, right? You know, you hear talks about CUDA cores and, and, and new NVMe technology. Like if you're a console gamer prior to the PlayStation 5, in the Xbox Series X, you've never heard of anything called NVMe M.2. You have no reason to know nothing about that, unless you're in a PC gaming, unless you're in a PC building. But when they talk about these terms, they throw these terms out here, it just makes you, it gives you that feeling of, I gotta get that console, I gotta get that console. So they do such a damn good job of marketing where you buy into it and then you end up feeling like, eh, it's okay, right? I mean, I've had people that are strictly console users, friends, close, intimate friends that I know that have done nothing but console, right? And they've told me literally, dude, I could have kept the PS4. Even me. If I look at 
95% of the titles that I play on PlayStation 5, Mortal Kombat 11, Street Fighter 5, Dragon Ball Fighters, Ultra Street Fighter 4. Now, I'm only one consumer out of tens of millions, obviously, but I would perfectly be fine with a PlayStation 4 Pro. I had one two times, actually, right? But now I have two PlayStation 5s. The point I'm making is that sometimes some people like me we get caught up into the hype of the new stuff. The new stuff is supposed to be so good. It's supposed to be so great. It's supposed to bring this new experience. But then it ends up it ends up pushing you back to where it's just like, man, I, I, I was OK with what I had. So to close out this ramble, essentially what you have to do is you have to really just focus on what's going to be good enough for you. Right. When you're getting into the PC gaming realm of things, though, there's a lot of things that can be confusing. Like I said, I just got this RTX Founders Edition 3090. I don't sell my graphics cards. Um, you know, I'm more of a collector, an enthusiast, if you will. And so I'm going to put a get put together a build for me. I'm going to actually come from one 3090 build that has all other parts, probably just garage that one and do me a fresh build so that I can just enjoy this. There's a lot that goes into putting these things together. So um, I want you to subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell because I'm going to be putting some content out next week telling you the inner workings of what I think about when I'm putting together a PC. Also, on the console end of the spectrum next week, because I'm going to do a video for PC and console, I'm going to be talking to you guys about if a console is good enough. And I'm telling you, I think I got some interesting talking points that I haven't seen men or women cover on the Internet. So if you got comments about what I'm talking about, if you got an opinion, want to offer something to the table, um, leave them in the comments selection or section. And uh, as I always say, Max Love.